So I've been thinking about perfectionism a lot. Um, perfectionism, if you've ever struggled with it, is is really tricky because it's it's something that we can get intellectually that it's not a great idea, but um, if you're kind of stuck in it, it can be hard to beat. And um, I think I mentioned, you know, when I was when I was a kid. One day, I, I can't remember what I was doing, but I, I was doing something and my, my dad happened to come by and and he noticed what I was doing and he noticed how I was doing it and he asked me about it and I shared with him what I was trying to do. And he said, he said oh, you're a perfectionist. And I didn't know what that meant. Um, and he told me what it meant. And 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 I thought, well, yeah, I want I want things to be perfect. Um, and And so to me, it didn't seem like a bad idea. And I think, um, that really shows that at, at, at its core, it's it's not a bad thing to want things to, I wouldn't say uh, wanting things to be perfect, but wanting things to be good. Um, however, uh, as you may know, it can really inhibit our, our, our ability to get better at things. Um, and very often, it, you know, perfectionists won't go for things because it won't be good enough. Like I, I, won't, I won't cook that meal because it'll never hit my standard. Um, I'll mention another story. So I, when I was in high school, I was drawing and I showed uh, one of my teachers, um, it wasn't my drawing teacher, but it was, a, it was another teacher who was also an artist. And I showed him one of my drawings and I, I said, what do you think? And I had sort of pieced together a bunch of little lines to make this drawing. And he said, he said, well, you really want to get to the point where you can just kind of get something and sort of nail it with with one stroke you know that you you capture the shape with this one with this one line and and um what he said you know kind of went in for me and um but i i realized i i think i misunderstood what he was saying so i took what he mean uh, what he said to mean that i have to be able to in one shot just get it perfect right so it really fit into my my model of perfectionism. But what it did in my behavior was it, it really froze me up. I would sit down to draw and think, oh my God, I've got to get it right in one shot. And, and I would think, what if I don't get it right? And I would try it. And of course, you know, first shot, it, it wouldn't come out right. And it, it just really increased my level of frustration. Every time I drew, I would, I would try to do it in one shot. Um, and it would never come out. It would never come out right or whatever right was, or it wouldn't come out perfect or good enough or any of those things. And, um, and this was the case with me and, and it really um, uh, made it tough to draw in a certain respect for a long time. Um, and over time I would reflect on what he was saying and, and, and finally I just discarded it and, and I, I thought, well, I've got to, I have to use other approaches to draw. Um, but I was thinking about it recently and I realized that I, I think I misinterpreted what he said. I, I, I think his words are the same, you know, that you want to be able to capture something with, you know, one or two strokes and, and try to get to the essence of it. However, the part that I, I didn't catch was that you get to the point where you can do it in one stroke by doing doing it tens of thousands of times to the point where you get good enough where you can just boom with one shot nail it the way it is and and what i realized is it's much more like learning a movement in in dance or in martial arts where at first you start with very uh kind of coarse um sloppy movements and gradually over time you refine, 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 refine till you get to the point where you can do something with great precision uh, uh, really easily. In the same way that we walk, right? You don't, you don't think about your walking and you're not self-conscious about your walking or, or you're not even trying to get it right. You just walk. Um, but as a result, because we all walk so much, um, most people are pretty good at walking, right? Where it's like if you've done something like shoot foul shots, after a while, you know, you just keep shooting and eventually you get better and better and better at that.
So, um, you know, my, my takeaway from that is instead of worrying about getting it right in every time, I realized just do it thousands of times so eventually you can get it right in one shot. 